Good day to our dear televiewers and subscribers. I am Sir Ray J. T. Bartolome, Elementary Teacher 1 of Samon Elementary School, your teacher presenter for DepEd Hour Teleturuan. Today, we will focus on classification of tools and materials in household linens. After the lesson, you are expected to be able to classify tools and materials according to their uses, measuring, cutting, and sewing in household linens. But before that, let us have a short review on our previous lesson about managing family budget. Do you still remember what budgeting is? Very good! Budgeting is a process of creating a plan to spend money. Budgeting is simply balancing your expenses with your income. Can you enumerate the five factors to be considered in budgeting? That's right! These are 1. Size of the family 2. Family income 3. Kind of work each family member does 4. Talents and abilities of every individual and 5. Where the family lives With that, let us proceed to our lesson proper As I have said earlier, our lesson for today is all about classification of tools and materials in household linens. We have different basic tools in making a garment which include those used for measuring, cutting, and sewing. Take note that the right choice of materials as well as the proper use and maintenance of tools and equipment will make garment making easier and enjoyable. These are the tools and materials in household linens. First is measuring tools. The first one is a measuring tool. This is used to take count of quantitative data such as length. These are the common measuring tools in household linens. First, the tape measure. This tool is usually made of cloth or plastic. This is used for taking body measurements as well as cloth and other materials. How about this one? Do you know what measuring tool is this? Very good! This is a ruler. A ruler is used to measure and draw lines on a fabric or patterns. Here is a third one, the French curb. This tool is used in drafting curves in the pattern of the arm, neckline, and crotch. Number four is a meter or yardstick. Meter or yardstick is used to measure fabric. Number five, the tailor square. Tailor square is used for the correct measurement of the lines in the right angle. Lastly, the curve stick. This tool is used to have accurate curve lines in skirt. Now that you know what our different measuring tools are, let us proceed to cutting tools. Cutting tools are used to cut fabric and the best quality cutting tools are made of high-grade stainless steel. These are the common cutting tools in household linens. First, we have embroidery scissors. These small scissors are designed for needlework. The second one is the dress making shears. These big scissors are used for cutting fabric. Number three is pinking shears. These are scissors with serrated blades or zigzag edges used for cutting edge to prevent it from fraying. Another one is a sewing scissors. These scissors are used to trimming seams and facings. Lastly, the seam reaper. This tool is used to open seams as well as other detailed work. Now, let's proceed to sewing tools, which are the instruments that aid in accomplishing in sewing tasks. These are the common sewing tools. First, we have needle. Needle is a sewing tool that's a sharp end and a hole at the other end to make the thread pass through. Needles come in different sizes. 
and are used in sewing to pass the thread through the cloth either by hand or machine. Let's proceed to pins. Pins are used to hold pieces of fabric. Be sure to use pins that have sharp and pointed tips. The third sewing tool is a pin cushion. This tool is made of varied materials such as cotton. It is used to keep needles and pins when unused. Number four is the thread. This is used for stitching cloth either by hand or machine and comes in different colors and thickness. Number five is a needle threader. This tool is used to aid in inserting the thread into the eye of the needle. Lastly, the thimble. It is a small, durable, protective cap made of metal or plastic used to protect the finger from being pricked when pushing the needle through the cloth. There you have it! We are about to have a short break for a few reminders from the studio. Please stay tuned for our discussion. Welcome back for today's episode of Deped Our Teleturuan. Do you remember what are the classification of tools and materials in household finance? Let us do some activities. Classify the tools and materials shown in each item, whether they are measuring, cutting, or sewing. Are you ready? Let's start! Number 1. Tape Measure if your answer is measuring tool, very good, you are right. How about this one, the thread? If your answer is sewing tool, very good, you are right. Let's proceed to number three, the pinking shear. If your answer is cutting tool, excellent, you are right. Number four, the French curb. If your answer is measuring tool, awesome, you are right. And lastly, for item number five, the pin cushion. If your answer is sewing tool, very good, you are right. You did a great job. I hope you had a meaningful and fun learning experience with me. Again, this is Sir Ray J.T. Bartolome, Teacher 1 of Samoan Elementary School. Till our next episode of Deped Hour, Teletoruan. Good day and God bless.